Up front for Pittsburgh from Detroit, a junior six five and a half, number thirty three, Demetrius Gore. At forward for Wisconsin from Rockford, Illinois, a freshman six six, number fifty, Danny Jones. At forward for Pittsburgh from Akron, Ohio, a sophomore, 6'6", number 34, Jerome Lane. At forward for Wisconsin, a senior, 6'8", number 42, Rod Ripley. In the middle for the Panthers from Bridport, Connecticut, a junior, 6'10", number 32, Charles Smith. And the final starter for Wisconsin is a senior, 6'7", number 40, J.J. Weber. Head coach for Pittsburgh is Paul Evans. Head coach of Wisconsin, Steve Yoder. Referees for tonight's championship game, Craig Peterson, Jimmy Clark, and Bobby Dibler. All our Western Athletic Conference officials, the host team of this tournament, Hawaii, is a member of the Western Athletic Conference. Pittsburgh, many people at courtside have said that Pittsburgh enters this tournament as a team made up of men, and they are actually playing boys, their maturity, the way they play the game, their court sense, the way they fly up the floor, the way they control the boards. And Wisconsin, a team that comes in here very lightly regarded. They played the host team in the opening round, and they have battled their way into this championship game. So it should be a very interesting matchup between two teams featuring wide bodies underneath. You know, Wisconsin might be the team that's, that's the Cinderella team of this, this classic. And Pitt is just, they're the power team. They play that Big East basketball, and they're going to play real tough. They only have seven or eight players that they go to, so it could be a great ball game. The tip is up, it is tip to Wisconsin. Mike Heineman, 6'3", senior out of Cornersville, Indiana, will bring the ball across the line for the Badgers. Members of the Big Ten against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh picked as one of the teams to challenge for the championship of the Big East. Rod Ripley, number 42, gets it back from the corner. Shelton Smith, then to Heineman, to Ripley. This is Smith looking down the baseline for J.J. Weber. Weber has it. Weber, front Smith, puts it up over Charles. Partially blocked by Charles, goes to Lane. Here's Aikens to Smith, up and in. Pittsburgh, two. Wisconsin, nothing. They are that quick. And they are that good. Great fast break by the Pitts team. Wisconsin on the attack again. Mike Heineman plays hard all the time. Danny Jones in the lane. The big fella puts it up and in. Put it up over Lane. So Jerome Lane has that shot made over him. 2-2 two -two tie. Tied up for the first time. Mike Goodson with the ball for Pittsburgh. Out to Jerome Lane, out on top. They get it down to Smith. Goes to the hoop, nobody there. He slams it home. Mm, that was nasty, James. 4-2 in favor of Pittsburgh. Actually, Charles Smith leaps Wisconsin, 4-2. Ripley with the ball out in front. To Danny Jones, left of the lane, double team. Back to Ripley. He puts it up from 15. No good. They fight for the rebound. It comes off to Goodman. He's running. Here comes Pittsburgh, four men on the break. Shot is up by Aiken, it is good. Aiken! Curtis Aiken. He has to be considered for the all-tournament team and perhaps even the player MVP. of the tournament. That's right, he's on my all-tournament team. I can tell you that right now, unless he has a terrible championship game. And he starts tonight the way he left off last night. Weber out to Heinemann, three-pointer on no, two-pointer on the way straight away. Taken down by Lane, ahead to Aiken, out in front. He is fouled, he will not get the hoop. Heinemann tried to come back. Pittsburgh runs the break better than uh, any team I've seen in a long time. Boy, that was starting a... tonight against Pittsburgh the way they started last night against Arkansas. And that was a real tough. He was going to go to dunk. He got grabbed on the arm. Real hard foul by Heinemann on Curtis Aiken. Nothing's free inside. You take it to the cup and you expect to get hit. Aiken is at the line. Aiken had 21 points against Kansas, 37 points last night against Arkansas. Shot is up, and it is not good. Aiken at the free throw line, a 56% shooter. That's incredible when yeah. you consider the way that he can score. But at the line, only 56%. 22 for 40 now. He's below that. Next shot will bounce in for him. 7-2 in favor of Pitt. And the Badgers will bring it up court. Heinemann 
We'll bring it into the attacking zone. For those of us watching in the great city of Pittsburgh, good morning from Honolulu. J.J. Weber, right of the lane, launches it. He really had to baby that shot. He thought that Smith would come over and challenge him. So as he went up, he changed it. Ball goes out of bounds, and uh, Wisconsin will play it in underneath their basket. Wisconsin cannot afford to get behind by too many points against Pitt because Pitt, it seems like when things start to roll, it just continues to roll for them. I'd like to send our many alohas to everybody watching tonight in Houston, Texas, and throughout the Prime Ticket Network in Southern California and Arizona. Shot is up by Sheldon Smith. He hits for Wisconsin. A three-pointer, and Wisconsin back in it, 7-5. to five. Smith is deadly from the outside. Aiken with the ball in the left corner. Aiken against Heinemann. Back out it goes to Goodson. Gives it to Demetrius Gore. Over to Aiken. His shot on the way. That's good. It is not a three-pointer. That is now a three-pointer. Now they say it is a three-pointer. Right, now they say it is. Officials were looking at each other. They went actually palm upward before Jimmy Clark said yes, three-pointer. Smith with the ball. Sheldon Smith on the outside for Wisconsin. 10-5 in favor of Pitt. Smith gets him at the free throw line. His pass in the lane rolls underneath the Heinemann. He puts it up and in for Wisconsin. And it is 10-7. And we'd like to say welcome to everybody watching in the great 50th state of Hawaii. All throughout the islands. Oahu, Hawaii, Maui, the big island of Hawaii. Molokai. 10-7 in favor of Pitt. Lane dishes to Smith, pump faking in front of Weber. Puts it up left of the lane over Jones. Put up again, yes. Charles Smith. Charles, Charles Smith. Smith laced the shoes up real tight tonight. He's come out to play real hard. 12 to 7 in favor of Pitt. When Pitt walked in, they had the game faces on. No smiles, very serious. They want this title. Heinemann all alone puts it up. A two-pointer straight away, yes. Heinemann, 12-9. Wisconsin back to within three. Mike Heinemann, four points. Pitt brings it back. 16.09 left to play in the first half. Lane down deep. Put up by Gore. No, comes off to J.J. Weber. Weber to Sheldon Smith for Wisconsin. Smith with a right-hand dribble. Loops it over the defense to Heinemann. Underneath the Jones. Wide Danny Jones goes to put it up. Doesn't get it, but it comes off to J.J. Weber. Sheldon Smith from the free throw line. It will not go. Weber tips it, but he tips it to Lane. Another rebound for Jerome Lane. He averages 13 a game. Goodson deals it down to Aiken in the left corner against Heinemann. 12-9 in favor of Pitt. Aiken looking for Gore. Gore against Mike Jones in the lane. To Smith, knocked away by J.J. Weber. Smith gets it back. Aiken, long shot from the left. Yes, three-pointer. Somebody better introduce themselves to Curtis Aiken because he's a player. 15-9 in favor of Pitt. Sheldon Smith. Double dribble. Pitt will control on the turnover. Timeout has been called. We look at the scoreboard. 15-11 left to play in this the championship game. Pitt has come to play. They lead Wisconsin 15-9. This is the Rainbow Classic Network. ...of how these two teams arrived in this championship game. Wisconsin with victories over Hawaii. And Wisconsin with a victory over California last night. Pittsburgh with victories over Kansas and over Arkansas. And so they have arrived against each other in this championship game. Only two people have scored for Pitt, but it's been enough so far. Aiken with nine, Charles Smith with six. Demetrius score on the baseline drive. Doesn't get the lay-in. Ball goes out of bounds. Pitt will control. Aiken will throw it in under the Pitt basket. Aiken slaps the ball, holds it over his head, loops it in for Gore at the top of the circle. Aiken in the deep left corner. Puts in on the outside against Heinemann. This is Aiken. His shot, three-pointer. Yes, Aiken. Boy, that just zipped through the netting. And each time he shoots the ball, he's getting on the all-tournament team, moving up in the rankings there. Three three-pointers for Aiken. He now has 12 points. 14.36 left in the first half. Heinemann. Gets it to Ripley, knocked away by Lane. Here comes Pitt, three on two. In the middle is Goodson. Left side, up, and not in by Lane. 
J.J. Weber with the rebound for Wisconsin. And the Badgers will bring it up. And not satisfied with the way his team has played so far. Wisconsin coach Steve Yoder. Heinemann with the ball on the outside for Wisconsin. Sheldon Smith in the deep right corner. Weber at the high post against Charles Smith. Rod Ripley against Gore. Outside to Hanneman. Get it into Jones. Puts it up over Lane. No, Lane with the rebound. Outlet pass goes to Goodson. Here comes Pitt. Goodson running. Angles off the right side. Drops it in the right corner for Aiken. Two-pointer on the way from 18. No. J.J. Weber with a muscle rebound in front of Smith. The ball almost knocked away by Lane. Weber gets it to Heinemann in the backcourt. And then the Sheldon Smith Jr. Wisconsin controls 18 to 9 in favor of Pitt. 13 31 left. First half. Jones down low over Smith. Left of the lane. And Lane with another rebound. Two on two. Now three on two. Gore spinning. Left hand hook. Left of the lane. No. And it's taken down by Weber of Wisconsin. And it remains 18 to 9 in favor of Pitt. Wisconsin fans want the Badgers to come back in. They do not want. The Badgers to be blitzed the way Arkansas was last night. Ripley with it. Out on top it goes to Heineman. They get the ball to Jones. Then to Sheldon Smith. It shot up and in. Three-pointer by Sheldon Smith. Smith had 17 points last night against California. He also had 17 against Hawaii on the opening night of this tournament. 18 to 12. Lane underneath to Smith. He slams it home. He's fouled from behind. Mm, Basket will count. Good pass, Jerome Lane, inside to Charles Smith. This is a different Charles Smith than we've seen the first couple games in this tournament. Watch this nice jump pass into Charles Smith. He goes up real strong, gets hit from the back. Again, from a different angle. He was fouled uh, by Jones. Danny Jones goes out, and Kirk Portman comes in uh, to replace him. Portman, 6'11", 220. A freshman out of Sheboygan, Wisconsin. 12.40 left. Talk about power basketball. Pitt playing it here. 20 to 12. Shot is up by Smith. In and out. Ripley with the rebound for Wisconsin. Eight-point lead for Pitt. Heinemann will bring the ball across the line. This is Ripley looking for Portman. Sheldon Smith, Jr. Fronted by Gore. Ripley against Aiken on the mismatch. Ripley has the height advantage. They get it to Weber, goes around Lane, gets to the hoop, he slams it home. Yes, Power sir. move by J.J. J.J. say, nothing on you, you don't have anything on me, I can do the same thing. 20 to 14, Wisconsin has come back to within six. J.J. Weber, his first two points, he made a statement. Here's Charles Smith dealing the ball out to Goodson, to Aiken. Two-pointer on the way from 15, no. Heinemann in traffic for Wisconsin. Heinemann to Smith, top of the circle to Ripley. Perimeter passing now for Wisconsin. They loop it into J.J. Weber. Fall away right of the lane. Doesn't get it. A foul is called. And Weber will go to the line. That was on Jerome Lane, I think, hitting just on the elbow as the shot was taken. The longer this game goes, Wisconsin is the type of team that can hang close. If they hang close, they have a chance down the stretch. Yes, they do, and they, they will start really believing that they can win this ball game. First personal foul on Jerome Lane. J.J. Weber at the line. His shot is up and in. Weber for Wisconsin, a 67% shooter, 44 for 65 coming into the game. He averages 14 points a game. Weber's second shot is good, and it is 20 to 16. Wisconsin is staying close. They trail by four. Timeout has been called. Pittsburgh with a four-point lead. You are watching the 23rd Annual Rainbow Basketball Classic, and this is the Rainbow Classic Network. Twenty to sixteen, Pitt over Wisconsin. Eleven forty-eight left to play in the first half of this, the championship game of the nineteen eighty-six Rainbow Classic from Honolulu and Blaisdell Arena. Wisconsin with Ripley, Heineman, Sheldon Smith Jr., Kirk Portman, and J.J. Weber. Pittsburgh counters with Aiken, Charles Smith, Jerome Lane, Mike Goodson. And number 21 into the game, Rod Brooken, 6'6 freshman out of Fieldton, Pennsylvania. Aiken to Brooken. Quick pass, knocked away by Ripley, goes to Weber. Turnover, here comes Wisconsin. They can come to within two or within one with a three-point play. 
Sheldon Smith. To Portman at the high post. Gets the ball into the lane. Stolen away by Lane. Here comes the big fella. Yeah. Ooh. Uh-huh. Charles Barkley, Jr. 22-16. Jerome Lane. We said last night. His name is apropos to where he plays and how he plays. Lane. He made that steal in the lane. And at the other end, he slammed it home going straight down the lane. 22-16. Pip. Lane again. Here comes Jerome. You believe it for Mike Goodson. 1-2-2 two, two zone employed by Wisconsin at the present time. 10-47 remaining to be played in the first half. Aiken on the outside. Brooken back out to Aiken. Looks at the Smith. Smith bumped by Hanneman, puts it up and in. Charles Smith. Big mismatch. Hanneman down there. Charles Smith will eat him alive. 24-16, Pitt over Wisconsin. 10-23 left. Sheldon Smith gets it into the lane. He wanted somebody. Goes to Jerome Lane to head to Aiken. The little guy jam. That's for all the six-footers in the world today. Pitt 26, Wisconsin 16, 10.07. Left in the first half, timeout has been called by Wisconsin. So Pitt starting to blitz. And when they do that, look out. They are awesome when they get that running game going. They lead by 10. We'll be back. This is the Rainbow Classic Network. So Pittsburgh 11 for 18, Wisconsin 6 for 14. 10.05 left to play in the first half. Pitt 26, Wisconsin 16. And of the 18 field goals by Pitt, Aikens is 5 for 6, and Smith is 5 for 6. So they've taken care of 10 of 12 of that 11 of 18. Ooh, ooh. Here comes Wisconsin. Rod Ripley with the ball, number 42. This is Mike Heineman. Sheldon Smith in the corner. J.J. Weber out in front. They leave him alone. He'll take the shot over Lane. Doesn't hit Lane with the rebound. The averages, remember, 13 a game. He is awesome. Goodson will leave it outside for Aiken. Pittsburgh with a 10-point lead now. They slow it down. Lane at the high post. Aiken will take the shot. It will rattle out. Goes to Portman. Portman to Smith as Wisconsin controls. Wisconsin needs to put some points on the board. They don't want to drop too far behind. That ball knocked out by Goodson. Coaching staff trying to ref trying the referee over there, huh? Yes, jumping up, pointing the other way. It looks pretty good. Paul Evans, the coach of Pittsburgh in his first year, coming over from Navy. J.J. Weber gets it to Ripley on the wing. Ripley is against Goodson outside to Heinemann. He's against Aiken. Ripley into Weber, coming over to help out his lane. He punts it out of bounds. Interesting stat, Jim. There's only been a total of three team fouls in this ballgame. Referees have done a good job. You haven't noticed them on the floor. They've just let the guys play without getting real violent. Not calling a lot of simple fouls. Smith, three-pointer. That's from NBA range. And he hits it. That's his third three-pointer, I think. You're right. 26 to 19. Wisconsin trying the steady diet of three-pointers to remain close. Goodson on the outside. This is Aiken. Loops it into Smith. Smith double team, triple team. Four men on him as he was in the line. Foul is called. They're going to call it on Sheldon Smith of Wisconsin. It takes more than one ball player for Wisconsin to control Charles Smith. You see him go up with the ball. Let's take the whole team. Everybody's surrounding him. So Pitt will play the ball in. Brooken goes out. And Demetrius Gore back into the game now for Pitt. Aiken will inbound for Pittsburgh. Aiken loops it into Smith in the lane. And let's see, whistle blows. Foul is called. It's going to be on Jerome Lane. Lane pushing off down low near the baseline. And Wisconsin will control. I'm not really sure what that was for. 
I don't know either. Oh, that was just a poor angle on the referee's part because he did not really push. He was just standing there, and we, Weber went up in the air and just kind of moved out of the way. 26-19, Wisconsin trying to stay close. Weber puts the ball up over lane, rejected by Charles Smith. Goal handling oh. goal. Now, was that goal attending with their eagle eyes? Boy, that is close. That is close. I don't think it was. I don't either. I think it was a real, real good block. And Evans. Let's look at it here. It was not. That ball is not going down. Oh, no way. Going up. That's no, going no, up. no way. This is Smith. Gets it in the lane for the hoop. Muscle right over Ripley. 28-21. Pitt leads. 8.02 left to play in the first half. When Pitt is running, it's like the charge of the light brigade. They just come stomping down the court. Heinemann to Smith. Looking for J.J. Weber. 7.47 left. Clock ticking away on Wisconsin here in the first half. Weber against Charles Smith. Muscles it up. And Portman puts it back. Now, now, Paul Evans is claiming basket interference. He might have a case. That ball seemed like it was over the cylinder when he was jammed in. Portman's first two. Goodson brings it back for Pitt. 28-23. Pitt leads by five. Lane puts it up in the lane. No, comes to Smith. Tip to the ball. And a foul called on Heinemann. Heinemann really playing on the edge tonight. This is an emotional ball game. Both these teams want to win this Rainbow Classic. Let's see if the ball is in the cylinder. No, it's definitely out. Definitely out from that angle anyway. So maybe that would be definitely. Huh? Well, you called it. Hey, it was out. It was out. It was Smith. out. At the line now for Pitt. Smith with 10 points. He is 0 for 1 from the free throw line as a team. Pittsburgh 1 for 3 from the line. Smith puts it up. It is not good. Carl Smith does come in with a 72% mark from the line. Second shot is good. And it is 29-23, Pittsburgh by six. 7-19 remaining to be played in the first half. This, the championship game of the Rainbow Classic. Wisconsin against Pitt. Pitt ranked 17th in the latest Associated Press poll. Ripley with the ball out in front against Aiken. This is Smith. Goes by Gore, dances away on the left wing. Perimeter pass to Heinemann. Shot up by J.J. Weber. Over lane. 29-25. And Wisconsin back to within four. So the Badgers will not go away. Ripley knocks it into the hands of J.J. Weber. And Wisconsin controls on the turnover. Good defensive play by the Wisconsin team. So the Badgers can come back to within two or within one with a three-point play. Heinemann to Portman. J.J. Weber trying to get position down low. Ripley gets it to him. Turn around jumper. Yes. And Weber is starting to get the feeling right now. He feels real comfortable when Jerome Lane is guarding him because he's just about the same height. It's a different story if Charles Smith is on him. 29-27. Credit Wisconsin. They are back to within a pair. And Pitt has not had that running game going for a while. This is Lane down the middle, and he draws the crowd. That basket will count. That's that in, was uncanny. That's that was NBA. a god shot. That's, that's NBA right there, buddy. That shows a lot of strength. Jerome Lane gets the ball, splits the defensive men, goes up, gets all body, and then still has the ability and the, the touch to shoot off the glass softly. You'll see it again from a different angle. A lot of body, nice soft hands. 31 to 27 in favor of Pitt. Lane will be at the line trying to convert on a three-point play. At the line for Pittsburgh. Lane with six points, three field goals. Jerome Lane, a 60% shooter from the free throw line, puts it up and in. Into the game for Pitt, number 44, Chico Cooper. Cooper, the senior, 6'8", 235 pounder. A junior college transfer to Pittsburgh from the Community College of Allegheny County. Honorable mention, Junior College All-American. He's number 44 for Pittsburgh. Ripley gets it to Portman. Baseline drive by Cooper. Up and in. He falls. Basket will count. So the Badgers respond. 543. Good movement by the big man, Portman. He goes up. Gets the shot to fall. 
Kiko Cooper did not move his feet defensively to get over and cut that baseline. That's the, one of the basic rules in playing defense inside is you always cut off the baseline, turn the guy back to the inside. It remains 32 to 29. Pitt comes up court. Demetrius score, drops it off for Aiken. Deep left corner, three-pointer, yes. To meet, rather, uh, Aiken, Curtis Aiken. 17 points for Aiken. He has four three-pointers in this game. It is 35 to 29, Pitt. Heinemann looking for J.J. Weber at the high post to get it to him. Weber double team gets it to Ripley. He's open, his shot, in and out, no. Smith with the rebound, can't hold. And Heinemann chases it down for Wisconsin. Good hustle by Hanneman. Whistle blows as they try to get the ball into Weber. Foul on Kiko Cooper. See, the pit big men are, are conscious of uh, Weber now because he's gotten the ball inside, turned and scored on him two or three times. Now they're trying to overplay him, play him real tough. Charles Smith might end up on him. Wisconsin will play it in under their basket. They loop it into Ripley. Heinemann. And Portman loses it, gets it back for Wisconsin. Then to Sheldon Smith, out to Heinemann, and they will perimeter pass for a while. 4.53 left. And to J.J., his shot, yes, in the lane. And there's no whistle. Down is Heinemann, and down is Gore. And they, did they call a foul? Not, they called a foul inside, not on the outside play. You'll see the pass go inside, and that could have been a foul. You see the two players fall down at the top of the circle. So the foul is called on Charles Smith. That is his first. It is the 15 foul on Pittsburgh, and J.J. Weber will be at the line. And he's playing these big guys for Pitt real well. He's a senior, though. You have to give him credit for being a senior. 6'7", 240 pounds, and he's playing a real good ball game. Shot is up by Weber. Doesn't drop. Smith with a rebound. Out to Demetrius Gore, and this is Mike Goodson. Goodson to Aiken in the right corner. Back to Goodson. Top of the circle. 35-31. Pitt has not been able to blow Wisconsin away. The Badgers have stayed around. Pico Cooper in the lane from 10. No. J.J. Weber with the muscle rebound for Wisconsin. And the Badgers come up court with possibilities here. 420 left the play. First half. Ripley. Heinemann on the outside. J.J. Weber really positioning himself in front of Charles Smith. Turn around jumper. Yes. J.J. Weber. And J.J. is becoming the man in the paint. He's got the feeling they need to go to him all the time. 14 points for J.J. Weber. 35-33. Wisconsin back to within a pair. Aiken. Trying to take the three-pointer over Ripley. Pump faking, won't take it out to Gore. Smith trying to get position underneath on Weber. He has the ball. He loses it. Heinemann is there. Heinemann can't hold it. The ball goes out of bounds. Pitt will control. 3.47 left in the first half. And that has been called. 35 Pitt, 33 Wisconsin. This championship game shaping up to be something. This is the Rainbow Classic Network. 35-33 in this championship game of the 23rd Annual Rainbow Basketball Classic. Wisconsin has not faded. They are right on Pittsburgh. And they are now breathing down the Panthers' neck. 3.47 left to play in the first half. Interesting game, to say the least. Good ball game. Good championship ball game. It's been a great Rainbow Classic this year, and this is a good championship ball game. Pitt will inbound. Aiken holds the ball over his head. Looks it into Mike Goodson at the top of the circle. He'll be picked up loosely by Sheldon. Aiken looping it over the zone. 2-3 zone employed by Wisconsin. Gore down the middle underneath two is Charles Smith blocked by Weber. But the ball comes off to Aiken. Pittsburgh still controls. 3.33 left. J.J. all of a sudden has found his second win. Started the game rather slowly, being dominated by Charles Smith. Now it has turned around a bit. Gore gets it to Smith, double teamed, out to Goodson. His shot from the top of the circle will not drop. And Heinemann with the rebound. It will bring it up court for Wisconsin. Wisconsin, a tough team. They are tough. J.J. Weber and Charles Smith negotiating territory. Weber to Ripley on the wing, then back out to Heinemann. Weber in the lane, repositions himself. Smith on him. They get it to J.J. 
His shot over Smith. Yes, J.J. Uncanny. And J.J. has a feeling good defense by Charles Smith. He just shot over him. I like what one of the officials did that time. He said, watch your push, and he didn't call a foul. He just warned the big guys. We are tied at 35, and Weber has 16 points. Now for Wisconsin. This game has been tied up twice here in the first half. 2.33 left. Excellent championship game. Glad you're with us wherever you may be. Demetrius score forces them up left of the lane. Heinemann with the rebound. Here come the Badgers, and they can take the lead. Ripley. Yes. Two points. 37-35 Wisconsin lead. What a comeback by the Badgers. Pittsburgh back on the attack. Goodson to Gore. Back to Goodson on the outside. Underneath to Smith. He is fouled by, no, rather underneath the lane, I should say. He's fouled by J.J. Weber. Good execution by Pitt. They came in with a 3-2 offense just to get the ball into either Lane or Smith down low. They got it into Lane with a good bounce pass. Lane goes straight up, gets the foul. Good job by Pitt to execute right then. What happened to the thundering running game by Pitt? Well, you can't run when you don't grab the rebounds and kick it out. And that's what's happened. Uh, Wisconsin has gone in there and controlled the board. Smart move, in my opinion, by getting J.J. Uh, Weber out of the ball game. Okay, he's out of the game. Now he can't pick up a foul. There's only a minute 56 to go in the half. It's 37 to 37. Save all his fouls for the second half. Good move by the coach for Wisconsin, Steve Yoder. Lane hit two from the line. He now has nine for Pitt. 149 left to play. First half championship game. We are tied at 37. Danny Jones backing in at the high post. This is Sheldon Smith back out to Heinemann to get it to Jones. In the lane. Maneuvering. Puts it up. And Smith goes up and grabs it. They'll call goaltender. 39-37. That, that looks impressive. Four points now for Jones. You're looking at Paul Evans in his first year at Pitt. What an interesting year he's going to have in the Big East. Aiken with the ball on the wing for Pitt. This is Goodson on the outside. 122 left to play. First half. Demetrius Gore, they lose the ball. Here comes Wisconsin, and Wisconsin is running. Heinemann to the hoop. 41-37, Wisconsin. 109 left in the first half. Evans up off the bench, shouting at his players. Goodson back for Pitt. This game has turned around. And Big Mo has definitely gone into the red and white out there so far tonight. Pitt started out real strong, and all of a sudden that the, the bubble is starting to burst. They get it into Smith. Smith loses the ball in the lane. It goes to Ripley. Ahead to Heinemann. Cut off from going underneath by Goodson. Heinemann will bring it out in front with 38 seconds left to play in the first half. Wisconsin, 41, Pitt 37. In the early going, it was Pitt, but not down the stretch. The Badgers have come back to take the lead. The lightly recorded Wisconsin Badgers when this tournament started. And they have battled their way into the championship game, and now they have the lead. 19 seconds left, they're going to go for one shot, of course. Great first half. Good first half in this Rainbow Classic championship game. Nine seconds left. Sheldon Smith to Ripley. The ball is Rock. partially blocked by Smith, and it goes to Gore. Whistle blows, blocking foul, and it will be called on Ripley. So Pittsburgh will play the ball in. Neither team no, is one and one right now. Is it one and one? Yes, they just went over the limit now. With one second to go, Wisconsin's ahead, 41-37. Interesting first half thus far. One second left on the clock here in the first half. Wisconsin huddling off to the side as Demetrius Gore toes the line for Pittsburgh. Gore, Smith, Tico Cooper is coming to the game. Goodson. And Aiken now for Pitt. Gore puts up the shot. Good. 41-38, Wisconsin. Demetrius Gore, first point of the game. So we begin. Goodson on the outside. This is Gore in the corner. Aiken against Heinemann. Won't take the shot. Can't take the shot. Gives it to Gore. He will. Doesn't hit. And Wisconsin chases it down. Smith with the ball for Wisconsin. 
J.J. Weber, low post on the right. Danny Jones, low post on the left. Shot is up by Ripley. Three-pointer, Ripley. And Wisconsin all of a sudden leads by five. 44 to 39. So Pitt now down by five in the first minute of the second half. The ball knocked away by Heineman, and it goes to J.J. Weber. So Wisconsin starting strong. And they're starting with a lot more intensity than Pitt is. Pitt is starting real sluggish. It's like a prize fight. It's been hit a few times. Not sure what's happening. What, what day is it? Pitt in a 2-3 zone. Weber. This is Ripley. Three-pointer. Yes. Rod Ripley. Two three-pointers in a row. And Wisconsin lead by eight. 47 to 39. Aiken cannot put up the three-pointer from the left corner. To Goodson, he saves the backcourt violation. To Aiken, here's the three-point attempt. No. Taken down by Smith. Put back. It'll count if it goes. It does not. He is fouled. Pitt could have used the three-point play just then. So Rod Ripley has taken matters into his own hands, and he has hit two straight three-point shots. And Wisconsin, a team that led at halftime by two, all of a sudden leads by eight. Charles Smith is at the line. Foul called on Ripley. That is his second personal first team foul on Wisconsin here in the second half. Smith puts it up and gets the roll. 47 to 40. Charles Smith trying to have Pitt come back to within six. The player for Pitt that has to come through in the second half is Demetrius Gore because he's 0 for 6 in the first half, 0 for 1 now in the second half. They need some points and production out of him. Second shot goes 47-41. Wisconsin over Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh immediately drops back into the 2-3 zone. Wisconsin out of the Big Ten. Get the ball into Danny Jones on the baseline. Ripley out to Heinemann. And to J.J. Weber. And Demetrius Gore steals it. Gore running. Gore pulls up in the lane, takes it from six and hits. And that might get him on track because he sure needs to get on track for Pitt. Pittsburgh has cut the Wisconsin lead in half. They now trail by four, 47-43. Smith with the ball for Wisconsin. This is Ripley, three-pointer. This one is short, comes off to Goodson. Pittsburgh wants to run. Goodson in traffic. Takes it over on the left side, drops it off for Aiken. 16-footer on the way by Aiken, no. Gore, put back, it will go. 47-45, Pitt back in a hurry. Yes, sir, and Demetrius Gore is the guy who's coming back. He scored two buckets now. He hadn't scored all game, and now he's coming through for them. Good point. Heinemann gets it to Ripley. They loop it over the Pittsburgh zone. Sheldon Smith, yes. And that is, is that a three-pointer? They're not sure. They're not sure. Timeout is called. Now they're going to have to ask each other. Three-pointer or two-pointer? May not have been a three-pointer. I think May it's not have been a three-pointer. It's a three. They give them three. Yeah, I think it's a two-point shot. I thought it was two also. I did not think it was a three-pointer. Let's see. Let's see on our replay. Oh, my oh, gosh. He's way inside the he, line. Let's call him a foot in. Way inside the line. That was a gift. Hey, it's Christmas time. 12. It's a season. 12 points for Smith. 50 to 45. Baseline drive. Shot is dealt up and in. Demetrius Gore yet another time. 50 to 47. Eight points now for Demetrius Gore. He has scored six of his eight points in the second half on three field goals. J.J. Weber against Charles Smith. Ripley into Weber again. His shot rolls over. Danny Jones knocks it out. It will go to Pitt. Fifty to forty-seven. Wisconsin leads by three. Goodson brings it back with 16:38 left to play in the game. Looking for Smith underneath. They get it to Demetrius Gore. Gore. Ooh. Turn around jumper over Jones. Ooh. Yes. Demetrius Ooh. Gore. But he's got the feeling. Like I said, he was not doing anything all game, and all of a sudden somebody did a match under him, and he's on fire. And Pitt is back to within one. Gore now has 10 points. Heinemann walks it into the attacking zone. He loops it off the backboard. He tried the alley-oop, and that was way off. Here comes Pittsburgh. They are running. The ball knocked three. Goodson still maintains control on the outside for Pitt. 
Drops it off in the corner for Demetria score against Jones to get it into Smith. Double team. Smith goes around Weber. Drops it off for Aiken. 18 footer on the way yet. And Curtis says, get it to me, fellas. I'm ready. 51 50. And all Pitt of a sudden. Has crawled back into the lead. They were down by eight. That's right. Aiken now with 19. Timeout has been called by Wisconsin. 15.43 remaining to be played. Pitt has crawled into the lead. They lead by one, 51 to 50. This is the Rainbow Classic Network. 51 for Pitt, 50 for Wisconsin, 15.43 left. We've had one gift three-pointer. Been a great ball. And there you see, you know, you see the gentleman in the middle. That's Franco Harris. Hey, he's got his lineman around him still. Former <laughs> <laughs> great running back for the Pittsburgh Steelers here, watching Pitt play Wisconsin in the championship game of the 23rd annual Rainbow Basketball Classic. Heinemann with the ball for Wisconsin on the outside. He's against Aiken. This is Ripley. Ripley against Demetrius Score. J.J. Weber gets it back to Ripley. Three-pointer on the way. No. Cooper. Tico Cooper with the rebound. Outlet pass goes to Goodson. Pittsburgh running again. Now Goodson pulls up. Feels it down low to Gore on the baseline. Goes around. Ripley wants to put it up. No call. Gore is claiming he was fouled. Wisconsin comes up with it. Paul Evans up off the bench for Pittsburgh. Ripley back out to Heinemann. Quick pass into J.J. Weber against Charles Smith. Ooh. Right Smith. Ooh. Goes to Aiken. Three on one. Aiken in the middle. Right side to Goodson. Puts it up and in. Wait a minute. Yes, basket basket pass. They call count. an offensive foul on Goodson. Good job by Mike Goodson. Good job by Curtis Aiken. Super block. Charles Smith said, look, Weber, you, know, you got off in the first half. Enough of that. You'll see J.J. say, well, I did in the first half. Charlie says, not in the second half. Not yet anyway. 53 for Pitt, 50 for Wisconsin. 14.57 left. Much basketball to play in this championship game. Heinemann with the ball on the outside. Trying to find J.J. Weber. Positioning against Smith. Ripley on the outside against Demetrius Score. They get it to Weber. Smith cuts him off. Then to Ripley. Back in to J.J. Weber. Against Smith. Baseline pass goes by Portman. Goes out of bounds. Pitt. Good with control on the turnover. Good pressure defense by Pitt. Made it tougher for Wisconsin to get their offense going. Pushed the offense out about two feet. They've been getting it down low. They pushed them out further. 14-28 left to play in the game. Pitt by three. Smith at the high post against Weber. Wigway. Dumps it inside for Tico Cooper. This is Aiken. Three-pointer. No. Smith tries to the rebound, but it goes to Weber. Wisconsin control. In the backcourt. The Sheldon Smith Jr. brings it across the midcourt line, takes it over on the right side. Pitt has scored eight points in a row now against Wisconsin. Whistle blows away from the ball, follows calls, and it's going to be on Smith. No doubt the official was talking to him, talking to him, saying, watch the hands, watch the hands. And when Smith persisted, the whistle was blown. Good call by the official. You know, you let the big guys bang, 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 and after a while you have to clean it up inside just a little bit so you don't have anything get out of hand. Wisconsin will inbound under their basket to get it into Ripley. Then to Heinemann. His shot from the left, no. Three-point attempt. Weber with the rebound. To Heinemann. To the hoop. Does not dance in for him. And Smith comes down with the rebound. And that's legal. That is legal. The man hit the ball. He can go up in the air and come down with the ball. Goodson to Aiken in the left corner. Pit control. You're wondering about the possible up and down call. Into Smith all alone, up and in. He just jams it through. That was a, with, uh, uh, a little emphasis there. Yes, he was overplayed by two Wisconsin players, and that opened it up for him. So Smith now with a total of 15, and Pitt with a five-point lead with 13-19 left. Oh, what a block by Portman. What a block Ripley by Ripley. Knocks down, Ripley knocks down Tico Cooper. Two shots. Intentional foul. Oh, boy. And they, did they call it on Cooper? They called it on Cooper, but they sure missed the first foul. Boy, that's brutal. That is brutal. And Ripley will be at the line. And Jimmy Clark just told him, next time you go right to the locker room. 13-15 remaining to be played. Pitt 55, Wisconsin 50. 
So Tico Cooper and Rod Ripley really got tangled up with each other and they were throwing elbows. And the Cooper was the one that was caught. Ripley puts up the shot and it bounces in for him, gets the roll, 55, 51. Ripley with nine points. Two three-pointers here in the second half. Second shot on the way, it goes, 55, 52. So Pitt leads by three with 13, 15 left. And Goodson will bring the ball into the attacking zone for Pitt. Drops it off for Demetrius Gore. Gets into the lane, puts it up from 10 over J.J. Weber yet. Yes, Mr. Gore. 57-52, Pitt. Demetrius Gore now with 12 points. He has really come alive here in the second half. Smith to Portman against Kiko Cooper. To Weber at the high post. He's against Lane, who has come into the game for Charles Smith. This is Ripley over Gore. It's short. Lane with the rebound. Long pass for Gore. Again, Smith spins to the hoop up and in. Woo, what a play. Athletic ability by Demetrius Gore. Why is he still in the ball game? Because he can do that. 59-52, an incredible play. An incredible move. Now we have uh, Cooper and Weber throwing elbows underneath. Did they call Cooper again? Yes, they did. Well, Cooper is playing the victim here, and he may have a case. He has been called twice for throwing the elbow. That one not as flagrant as, as it was against Ripley moments ago. 59-52, Pitt. Ripley with the ball will hand it to Heinemann coming up from the baseline. Pitt in a 2-3 zone. Get the ball into J.J. Weber in the lane. Puts it up and in over Cooper. And Weber likes it most when Charles Smith is not in the ball game. 18 points now for J.J. Weber. That's his first field goal of the second half. He had 16 in half number one. 59-54 pick. Gore, baseline drive up and in. Gosh, what a man. He's come through in the second half like an unbelievable ball player. Shut out in the first half except for two free throws in the second half. He has caught fire. Demetrius Gore now with a total of 16. 11.40 left. Smith of Wisconsin. Weber really setting the pick down low with Cooper. Weber against Cooper. Weber puts it up. In and out, no. Portman tries for the rebound. Lane battles in for the rebound. Heineman loses it, comes to Goodson. Foul called, it's gonna be on Heineman. Good hustle by both teams. A lot of guys going after that ball. If you go after a timid, you'll get knocked out. Let's take a look at that. As they all go after it, and then Heineman rolls up the back of the legs of uh, Goodson. So he's called for the foul. Third personal foul on Heineman. And the second team foul on Wisconsin here in the second half. Pittsburgh out of the Big East over Wisconsin of the Big Ten. Pitt, 71% from the floor in the second half, 10 for 14. Wisconsin, only 30% from the floor, 4 for 13. Pittsburgh with seven rebounds. Wisconsin with four. Pitt has turned the ball over twice. Wisconsin three times. Gore is seven for eight from the floor in the second half. He is seven for 14 from the floor for the game. Charles Smith has come back into the game. He is number 32 for Pitt at the high post. This is Aiken. Aiken down low. Demetrius Gore forces it up. He will draw the foul. He does not get the hoop. And when the man has a feeding, he will attempt to do anything. He can go to the baseline, go to the baseline, jumps up, gets the foul, acts like he's going to get the shot. We'll get two free throws out of him. 61-54, Pitt. 11.05 left. Foul is called on number 40 for Wisconsin, J.J. Weber. That is his third personal. And it is the third team foul on Wisconsin. Demetrius Gore adds to his total. He now has 17. Nice thing about the Pitt Ball Club, everyone on this team knows their role. Second shot is good by Demetrius Gore. 63-54, Pitt. 11.03 left. Championship game of the Rainbow Classic. Wisconsin, Heinemann. Whistle blows away from the ball. Foul is called. Maybe on uh, Demetrius Gore. Paul Evans walks down to the limits of the coaching box. 
The referee's telling them, play basketball, watch your elbows, we're going to call a good game, you just play a good game. Wisconsin lines up across the free throw line, now they break. Heinemann tries to get the ball into Portman, it's thrown away by Demetrius Gore. Gore stumbles, and players hit the floor, Portman's trying to get it. They're traveling, two guys, two, two of the same players going after the ball on the floor, should be a traveling call. They're going to give it to Pittsburgh. Wisconsin. Or to Wisconsin, I should say. Now, yeah, two guys from the same team going after the ball and rolling on the floor. Yeah, that's hard to figure. I thought they'd have to they'd have to give it to Pitt, but they're going to give it to Wisconsin. Heinemann is uh, limping again. His leg is all bruised and he's taped up. Heinemann plays with all his heart for Wisconsin. Ripley to Sheldon Smith Jr. The ball poked away. Heinemann dives for it, but it ends up with Aiken. The little guy cupped it and <laughs> For all the six footers in the world, once again, Curtis do it for him. 65-54. The little ball people were out wiping up the perspiration as Wisconsin hey, brought the ball into the attack. Yeah. Good thing they blew the whistle. Curtis, Curtis, don't be so mean on him. Why not look at it again? Cup it, little guy, and throw it down. We are back live. Another steal. Goodson running. He's on the left. He pulls up and hits the banker from 10. Foul is called. Maybe on lane. Basket will count. And the foul will be on Heinemann. Heinemann. Heinemann for Wisconsin. Call for the foul. You know, uh, Pitt, all of a sudden, has gone out to a pretty good lead. It's 67-54, 10 minutes, 18 seconds to go in the ball game. And uh, they're starting to get control. They're grabbing Wisconsin by the neck. They're starting to shake, James. Fourth personal foul on Heinemann. Ball is looped into Charles Smith to Gore to Goodson. alley -oop. doesn't work. Comes off to Portman of Wisconsin. And then at number 30, Tom Alaski, who is into the game, 6'6", sophomore, out of Grafton, Wisconsin. Sheldon Smith in three-point territory. Try to get the ball down low to J.J. Weber. The ball is ripped free, goes to Gore. Four on three. Gore dribbles behind his back. Blocking. And Definite blocking block. foul is called Definite on Alaski. Block. Definite block. No question about that. Super job by Charlie Smith. And Pitt is running again. They're getting the advantage. You see Gore come the down. Thunderers here. He goes behind his back. Defensive player standing there, falling down, sticking the right leg out. Never get a charge like that. Sixty-seven to fifty-four. Pitt over Wisconsin. Nine fifty-two remaining to be played in this championship game. Pitt all of a sudden have taken control. They have started to play their game again. And they play it wonderfully well. 9.42 left. Pitt will maintain possession of the ball. Goodson with the ball on the outside. This is Jerome Lane. Underneath to Charles Smith. And count it. Count it. Let's see. There's the no, they count. won't. They'll, they'll wave it off. They'll wave it off. They'll wave it off. They'll wave it off. Let's watch this. Let's watch this now. Foul's on J.J. Weber. Foul's out. Should not be good. Now, in the NBA, that would be counted. This is this is not the NBA. Well, let's look at it. You see his ball gets inside. The foul it occurs there before he goes up. And he still goes up very strong. J.J. Weber bumping. J.J. Uh, Weber, I think he's gone a little uh, yeah, he's beside himself there. He sort of lost his control there as he went out. He was trying to play linebacker going off the court. Now Counted. Danny Jones has called for the foul. Aikens puts up a three-pointer, and that will count. Frustration is starting to set in on the Badgers now. 70 to 54 in favor of Pitt. Now this could be a five-point play. A five-point play. This is Aiken. Now Charles, now there, Charles there you Smith. see the there you see the foul. Charles Smith sets a great pick. Danny Jones wants to go through him. It won't happen. 
Now if Charlie can convert these two free throws, a five-point play. Smith is at the line, and the key to our left. 15 points. He now has 16. That's four points, yes. 71 to 54 in favor of Pitt. Wisconsin led by two at halftime, went out to an eight-point lead in the early stages of the second half. And now Pitt has caught them, passed them, and they have a commanding lead, 72 to 54. And they did it in a hurry. Sheldon Smith, three-point attempt, climbs the glass, comes down, does not go in, Ripley. Wisconsin still controls. Sheldon Smith, 10-footer, yes, two points. 72, 56. Goodson will bring it back for Pitt. Wisconsin now in a man-to-man. -man. Lane on the outside, Ripley on him to Demetrius Gore, forces it up off the glass, no good. Danny Jones with the muscle rebound. Wisconsin will control, bringing the ball up the far side is Sheldon Smith. Wisconsin needs points. And let's see, that could be another flagrant foul. Because uh, James Clark, the official, said next time you're gone. That's called on lane. Again, a, a lot of times the referees miss the first contact. They catch the second contact. It's a, you know, when you get a pop, you're going to pop back. And the referees often catch that second contact. Third personal foul on Jerome Lane. Portman is at the line for Wisconsin. 16 fouls now on fifth. Portman puts it up and in. Portman has been involved in some interesting plays this whole Rainbow Classic. He's thrown a couple people to the floor. That's true. And he's only a freshman. He's got a lot of heart. 72-58. Portman hits the second shot. He now has six for the game. 8.37 left. Pittsburgh in control. Lane at the top of the lane. Great pass down low to Demetrius Gore. Doesn't get the hoop. Ball slapped back outside. And it will go to number 32, Trent Jackson, into the game for Wisconsin for the first time. Smith floating through the lane. One-hander goes up. Does not go through. Lane with a rebound for Pitt. Mike Goodson gets it to Jerome Lane. Pass down low to Gore. Does not get the hoop again. Foul called on Gore. Good pass from position. Jerome Lane. He was by himself. Just didn't go in for him. Not real happy. Great pass by Jerome Lane, though. Go around the leg. Gore just short-armed it. And then now the frustration came over the back of Danny Jones. Both teams in the one-on-one -on -one bonus situation, and they have been. So Danny Jones will be at the line for Wisconsin. Ripley wants to get the team together. Try to encourage each other. 8.06 left to play in this championship game. Pitt 72, Wisconsin 58. It has been a struggle. Danny Jones hits. That's his fifth point. First point of the second half. Second shot. That goes. 72 to 60. Pitt leads by 12. Wisconsin can still make a move. This game has really turned over momentum a couple of times. Jerome Lane out on top. Goodson in the three-point territory. Puts it up over Portman. Good from the left side. That's a two-pointer. Feet just inside the three-point line. 74 to 60. Six points now for Goodson. Trent Jackson loops it over the Pittsburgh zone. Sheldon Smith, three-point attempt. No, comes off to Aiken. Pittsburgh wants to run. Ripley cuts off Aiken. Foul call. It's going to be on Ripley. Oh, technical. It's got to be a tech. And there's the tech. tech. Got to be a tech. Really, and here's really, Steve Yoder. Really He's tech. out of the coaching box. He runs into Bobby Dibler, and Dibler calls a tech on him. That's two. Now, that, that, is, that is deserved. That is definitely deserved because I know Curtis Aikens had the ball. He was getting ready to make that pass down the floor. So that's a one-shot tech. I believe on Ripley, on Ripley and, and a two-shot two back on the coach. On the coach. Right. Let's watch the play on, on a replay. See if it was a good call. Let's see if it was a good call, first and, of all. You see Aikens comes down. He's going to try and get the ball. You see the right hand behind Aikens' back. If we could go back, you'll see the right hand behind Aikens' back pulling him back. 
Aiken puts it up and in. 75 to 60 pit ahead by 15. Boy, that could really hurt Wisconsin. Steve Yoder came out of that coaching box and he would not go back to it. Bobby Deidler called the tech on him. Jimmy Clark called the tech on Ripley. Second shot is good. You'll now, get one more. Didn't we say that Aiken? Uh, Oh, wait a oh, minute. That, that, was, that was the foul. That was the personal foul. That was the foul. personal foul. Oh, now, I was going to say, because they, they, they got a lot of shots they coming They get here. five points here if they convert all free throws. Score is at the line for Pitt. 76, 60. Shot is up. What would you say about a seven-point play? Could or be. maybe even an eight-point eight point play. play. Yes. Because they'll get the ball out of bounds. Second shot. Yes. And it's four. He's got one more. He's got one more. Everybody, the referee says, hey, just stay back. We got a few more here. Now, Steve Yoda knows exactly what this is all about. Shot is up, and then. And now, and now they'll get give the ball, the ball. 79 to 60. 19 point lead. And timeout is called with 7.34 left to play. So, point play here. Pittsburgh's already had. One five-point play in this game. They lead by 19. 721 left. Goodson with it on the outside. Jump shot by Lane. Didn't go in, but Charlie Smith is right there to get it. Charlie Smith underneath. Jackson brings it back for Wisconsin to Ripley. Ripley with the ball on the outside. Smith with the rebound. Here comes Pitt. 81 to 60. 637 left to play in the game. Pitt leading now by 21. Whistle blows. Let's see. And they're going to wipe up some perspiration in the lane. So the officials have done what they've had to do. And it's been a well-officiated ball game. I agree. 628 left. Pittsburgh will play the ball in in front of the scorer's bench across the way. Demetrius Gore, who has really lit the place up here in the second half. Goodson gets it to Jerome Lane, and they'll play a little four corners. Shot clock is down to 20, so they still have time. 6.15 left to play. And they're going to milk it as much as they can. Get it down to around 10, 10 seconds, and then go get a shot off. Without question. 10 seconds left. This is Goodson. Baseline. Demetrius Gore. Offensive foul on Demetrius Gore. Boy. Third personal on Gore. And Ripley will play the ball in for Wisconsin with 6.03 left to play. Trent Jackson gets the ball in to Danny Jones. Back out to Sheldon Smith. Jackson, three-pointer on the way. No. Leap being rebound by Gore. Outlet pass goes to Goodson. 40 left to play and Pittsburgh ahead 81 to 60. Goodson deals it to Lane coming up from the middle of the lane. And down goes Ripley. No call. Ripley acting a little bit too much there on the contest. And he gets a few uh, oohs from yeah. the crowd. Out it goes to Goodson. 518 left. So Pittsburgh in the catbird seat to capture this 23rd annual Rainbow Classic. Lane takes Jones down deep, goes to the hoop, doesn't get it. Jones with the rebound for Wisconsin. Jones leaves it in the backcourt for Trent Jackson. Smith, three-pointer on the way by Sheldon Smith, all net. Smith now with 15, and it's 81 to 63 in favor of Pitt. Goodson against Jackson on the outside, drops it into the corner for Demetrius Gore. Down goes Portman, Gore goes by him, puts it up in the lane, no good. Ripley with the rebound for Wisconsin, foul called. It's going to be on Demetrius Gore. Coach Paul Evans is not a happy person. 
His team leading 81 to 63. 435 left. Timeout has been called here at the Play Cell Arena in Honolulu. Pitt 81, Wisconsin 63. This is the Rainbow Classic Network. Ripley is at the line for Wisconsin 81 63 in favor of Pittsburgh. Ripley puts up the shot and he hits. Ripley now with a total of 11 points. 81 64, second shot goes 81 65. So 16 point lead by Pitt, 434 left to play in the game. This is the championship game. Pitt has defeated nationally ranked Kansas, 79-76, and Arkansas, 114-82, to reach this championship game against Wisconsin. This is Jerome Lane, and he was fouled on the dribble drive by Ripley. Fourth personal foul on Ripley. Jerome Lane will go to the line. Jerome Lane appeared in the National Sports Festival and scored 84 points lead the East team to the silver medal. Lane at the line, and they are relentless to Goodson. Demetrius score, three-pointer, zip. And Demetrius has come alive in the second half. Come back, kid. 24 points now for Demetrius score, 22 in the second half. Stolen away by Lane. Three on three, Lane won't take it. Down Mark low, they'll, they'll run off some time. Smart move by Jerome Lane. He's on my all-tournament team. 340 left to play in this championship game. Foul cover. They are relentless to Goodson. Demetrius score. Three-pointer. Zip. And Demetrius has come alive in the second half. Come back, kid. 24 points now for Demetrius score. 22 in the second half. Stolen away by Lane. Three on three. Lane won't take it. Down low. They'll, they'll run off some time. Smart move by Jerome Lane. He's on my all-tournament team. 340 left to play in this championship game. Foul call is going to be on Smith. Portman has done it again. Portman pushed off on Smith. <laughs> and when Smith pushed back, I love it. The referee called Smith. Didn't see the first push. Portman's going to have four years in the Big Ten of doing that. And he's perfecting it. He'll have some seasons where his body's going to look like a sack of walnuts with all the bruises <laughs> underneath. 86-65. Kurt Portman is at the line. The freshman out of Sheboygan, Wisconsin, up and in. Portman has seven points in this game. Portman had seven points against California and ten points against Hawaii in the two previous games in this tournament. Second shot is in, 86-67. Pitt leading. 3.30 left to play. Goodson to Gore. Underneath the Smith, has position up and in. He's fouled by Portman. 88-67, 21-point lead now by Pittsburgh. 3.23 left. And Pitt in control. First personal foul on Portman. Charles Smith is at the line for Pitt. Smith with 21 points in this game. Charles Smith has played a fine championship ball game. The first two games of the Classic, he played well, but not at, at this level. Tonight, he's come out and played like a, a real all-star. Misses the free throw. It remains 88-67. Badgers bring it back. Ripley on the outside. Three-pointer from far away. Yes. What a shot by Ripley. He has 15. 88 to 70, 18 point lead by Pitt. Lane with it, shovels it by Smith. It goes to Gore, his shot is perfect. 90 to 70, 20 point lead by Pittsburgh. Those of you still watching in Pittsburgh, it's three o'clock in the morning. Oh, what a shot by Portman. Almost an excuse me shot. He's not going to admit that. He says that's all part of the repertoire. 90 to 72. Three o'clock in the morning in Pittsburgh. If you have to get up and go to work, maybe you just ought to stay up. It a, yeah, make it an all-nighter. That's right. But you should be proud of your squad because they played extremely well. Lane, uh, that pass going by Smith. 2.23 left to play in this championship game. And Pitt beginning to put in the reserves now. Smith goes out. Goodson goes out. Into the game number 25. Steve Maslick for 
Pittsburgh. Ripley, another three-pointer from the top of the circle. 90 to 75. Hit by 15, 212 left. Kavanaugh, number 12, Pat Kavanaugh, 6'2, walk-on out of Grove City, Pennsylvania, into the game for Pitt. Lane will leave it for Aiken on the outside. Nine three-point shots by Wisconsin in this game. 156 left as we kick down to the end of this championship game. Good assist by Kavanaugh, but Gore could not put it in. Great pass by Kavanaugh in the lane to Gore on the baseline. Sheldon Smith. Ripley needs to put it up from the three-point area. Smith will. He's short. Portman is fouled underneath, trying to put it back. Fouled by Maslick. 135 left. Well, it has been an outstanding tournament. It always is. The Rainbow Classic, the most prestigious holiday tournament in the country. One of the last 18 tournaments left. And we have seen Pitt arrive here really licking their wounds coming off a real bad defeat at the hands of Brigham Young University in Provo. They lost by 20, but they have gotten back together, battled their way into the championship game, and they are in control 90 to 76 over Wisconsin. Kurt Portman at the line. I'd like to see a rematch of that BYU pit game. Shot is up and in by Portman. You may in the NCAA tournament. Minute 29 left. Pitt leading 90 to 77. And Jerome Lane showing you that he's versatile. He can handle the ball like a guard. Offensive foul. Ripley. Uh, you got to give him an award for that. <laughs> Ripley, I like that's called overreaction oh, there. I tell you. Ripley will play the ball in. I wonder if he's trying not to smile. 90 for Pitt, 77 for Wisconsin. Wisconsin has cut the lead down to 13, 116 left. That's almost a walk by Smith. Ripley loops it over to zone. This is uh, not Smith, but Tapp, who is coming to the game. Rodney Tapp, six foot junior. Gore at the other end, fouled by Tapp. 102 left. Wisconsin, J.J. Weber with 18. Weber was really held down in the second half. He had only one field goal in the entire second half after scoring 16 in the first half. Well, do you remember the one block shot that Charles Smith uh, That's put right. back in his face? J.J. with 18. Ripley with 18 to lead Wisconsin. Portman has 12. Demetrius Gore, however, has been the player of this second half. He has 27. 25 of the points have come in the second half. Gore puts up the second shot and in. He has not missed a foul shot. 28 points for Demetrius Gore, 92-77. Less than a minute to play. Smith, three-pointer. Sheldon Smith off the rim, goes to Kavanaugh. Lead pass for Aiken. Little guy goes to the hoop. No, put back, yes. Now, who are you going to credit? Nathan, give it to my man. My new guy is just getting the ball. Maslick, see? You're going to call it to Maslick. You got to give him the ball. 94, 77, Pitt. Ripley, another three-pointer. It's short, goes to Jones to let him have the stuff. 94, 79, 32 seconds left. Demetrius Gore. Gore with 30. 30 in the game, 28 in the second half. Mm, that was nice, real nice. He got up real high. Tap, three-pointer, zip. Tap gets into the scoreboard. 96, 82, 17 seconds left. And a timeout has been called. So it has been an excellent tournament the last four nights. Pittsburgh will win it. They will be the 1986 Rainbow Classic champion. Wisconsin, a team lightly regarded as the start of this tournament, but a team with heart. And they used that heart to battle their way into the championship game. Actually led at halftime by two. Actually led in the second half by eight. And then they were overwhelmed by the talent and the experience of Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is one of those special kind of teams. That talent, when it meshes, you just sit back and you revel in the fact that you are watching excellent play. And I think Paul Evans, the coach for Pitt, deserves a lot of credit because he's continued to coach this team. He, he was working them on the sidelines, not the referees, but the team. He made them play the game he wanted them to play, and they can be real proud of their effort tonight. They played a solid ball game. They've got a lot of role players. 
Mike Goodson is a solid uh, quarterback of this squad. He's the maestro, makes things happen out there. Curtis Aikens, to me, has been the guard of the classic. He has played extremely well. Charles Smith rose to the occasion tonight. Jerome Lane is still a great sophomore. Super ball club. 15 seconds left, reserved for in for Pitt. Reporting in for Pitt is Scott Colombo, 5'8", sophomore out of Altoona, Pennsylvania. Because of his height here in Hawaii, he'd be a very popular player. In fact, most of the people in the world are his height. When you come to think of it, Artie. How tall is he now? 5'8". No, he's not really 5'8". Yeah, he's not. That's, uh, yeah, he's shorter than that. And most of the people in the world are. Eight seconds left. Kavanaugh on the wing fouled the five tap Rodney tap tap came out of Laramie Wyoming City College and transferred to Wisconsin Kavanaugh is at the line and he puts it up and in Pittsburgh the champions of this 23rd annual rainbow basketball classic 97 82 98 82 eight seconds left Two-pointer from 17. No, that'll do it. Pittsburgh, the champions over Wisconsin in the 1986 Rainbow Basketball Classic. The Pitt Panthers overwhelm Wisconsin in the second half. Both teams shake hands. Coaches shake hands at the center of the court. But the Pitt Panthers come away with the championship. And they do it. By beating Kansas, 79-76, Arkansas, 114-82, and Wisconsin in the championship game of the 23rd Annual Rainbow Basketball Classic. High-point man for Wisconsin, J.J. Uh, Weber with 18, Rod Ripley with 18, Kurt Portman with 12. For Pittsburgh, again, balanced scoring. Demetrius Gore, a miraculous second half. 30 points, 28 of them coming in the second half. 30 points for the game, followed by Charles Smith and by Curtis Aiken. Aiken had 26 and Smith had 21. Jerome Lane had 11 for Pittsburgh. Three point plays, Wisconsin with nine. Most of them coming from Ripley. And for Pittsburgh, they have five three point plays. So Pittsburgh has used the championship of the Rainbow Classic to launch themselves into competition in the Big East. And Wisconsin may be a factor in the Big Ten. They are a team with much heart. They are a team that plays very hard. And they proved that in this Rainbow Classic. But for Pittsburgh, they were the superior team. The awards are being presented now to the runner-up team, Wisconsin. They will be awarded each player a Rainbow Classic souvenir watch and also the runner-up trophy. And then uh, Pittsburgh will be awarded to uh, each player the souvenir watch from the Rainbow Classic. And then uh, they will be awarded the championship trophy and take that back with them uh, to Pittsburgh uh, to put into the athletic trophy case. Pittsburgh 98 to 282. I like the way Pittsburgh plays. I like the way Wisconsin plays. But when you when you have a team like Pittsburgh, there's a very special, it's a special kind of team. Because as you said, Artie, each of those players knows their roles. Yeah, they know exactly what their roles are. They know exactly what they need to do. Mike, Mike Goodson is the guy. He's the guy that really keeps that team together, makes a lot of things happen. I'm just real proud of this ball club. I think they came out and played extremely well. They played hard. They did what they had to do in order to win the tournament. They should feel real proud, go home with a lot of pride. Here's the all-tournament team. Dennis Hobson of Ohio State. Leonard Taylor of California. J.J. Weber of Wisconsin. Jerome Lane of Pittsburgh. Charles Smith of Pittsburgh. And the outstanding player of the tournament, Curtis Aiken. I go for Pittsburgh. that. I go for that. I definitely go for that. Thanks for being with us, everybody, all across the country. Prime ticket all throughout the 50th state of Hawaii. That'll do it for the 1986 Rainbow Basketball Classic. For Artie Wilson, this is Jim Leahy wishing you many alohas and best wishes for 1987. Again, the final score of the championship game, Pitt, 98, Wisconsin, 82. This is the Rainbow Classic Network. <laughs>